Hi everyone, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. Uh, it's time for another Face Your Shadow reading. Uh, shadow work can be a little uncomfortable or a lot uncomfortable, but that's where the magic happens. You know, it's where we grow and part of that is looking at the stuff we usually try to avoid. So let's pull a card and see what comes up. You've got the Hierophant. Oh, uh, I never usually look at the bottom of the deck, but you've got the Judgment, uh, sorry, not the Judgment, the Justice card at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like that's interesting. I'm going to keep that in mind. Uh, so the Hierophant, it's about tradition. It's about structure. It's the belief, the belief systems that we follow sometimes without even thinking about it, you know, the rules we were taught growing up, like how things are supposed to be done. You know, the Hierophant represents those structures, you know, but um, the shadow side, that's when it asks us, are these rules really working for you or are they keeping you stuck? Sometimes we don't even realize how much we're um, living in living by other people's standards, you know, instead of our own. That's where the shadow comes in, challenging you to ask, is this still my truth, right? Um, we've all had those beliefs, traditions that we follow, you know, sometimes we've, we've always been taught that that's the right way, you know, but have you ever stopped to question if they're actually helping you grow? You know, the higher front shadow shows up when we stick into those old beliefs routines, relationships, career that no longer serve us. You know, it's that voice that says you have to do things this way, even though that way doesn't even feel right anymore. There's so many people going through that, right? I was one of them. Um, you know, it's easy to follow that path that's laid out for us. In, only sometimes it's because it's familiar, right? It's comfortable. Uh, until it doesn't become, until it's uncomfortable. So in relationships, you know, this can show up when we're sticking to those ideas about love and partnerships that don't really fit who we are. You know, maybe you've been following a traditional idea of what a relationship should look like, what love should feel like, and it's not actually making you happy, you know? Are you staying in this relationship because it's what's expected, you know, because it's truly aligns with who you are? You know, those rules that you're following, you ask yourself, do these, do this still serve me? Maybe we don't ask ourselves enough. Because sometimes we stay in those relationships because they check all the boxes that society gives us, but they don't fulfill us on a deeper level. So, you know, in your career, for example, you might be on a path, and, and we've all also been there because it was a safe or right thing to do. It's what my parents wanted me to do. We've always been doctors. We've always done this. Uh, you know, maybe you took a job or pursued some something because society said it was, this is what we're supposed to be doing. We, we know that, right? Um, but now you're kind of questioning, is it really what you want? It's okay to question those choices. That's why the sh shadow is here for the Hierophant. You know, when you're re living by someone else's rules, you might, you know, you find you'll find yourself stuck in a job that match, doesn't match your passion. It's it's not. I'm not saying it's about abandoning stuff. Okay, sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. Um, you know, it's about finding that balance between honoring tradition, following the true path. Right. It's the same thing with religion. I'm not saying religion is bad, but if it separates you from a fellow human being, then you know. You know, maybe it's, maybe it's, uh, you know, it can be a beautiful thing because it brings connection. It brings uh, community, you know, uh, moral, you know, discipline or, but when it starts to separate people, you know, look at the, the world that we live in. So much hunger, conflict, pain, all because of separation. So... 
you know, we're not trying to reject religion or tradition or rules. You know, we're not doing that. It's just the goal here is to integrate these things and find, figure out what works for you and let go of the rest. You know, the Hierophant asks us to look at where you're following the old ways without question. You know, um, shadow work is, is about understanding that these old structures, do they still have value? You know, they can have value, sure, but they don't have to control your life. You know, um, so how do we break free from, from these beliefs or traditions that don't serve us anymore? You know, start by asking yourself, why are you following certain rules or paths? You know, are you doing it because it feels right for you or are you doing it because it's what you should be doing? You know, the higher font asks you to give yourself that permission to create your own path. Um, you know, the, I think I'm just going to wrap, wrap it up. Um, I think you get the idea. The higher font here teaches us to honor tradition, but you know, to also question the rules and beliefs that no longer fit, right? It's okay to, to follow your own truth, even if it looks different from what others expect, you get to decide what works for your life. Okay. So yeah, sorry if I was all over the place. Um, I could have said a lot more, but without kind of, I don't know, it's just a very, can be very sensitive even though it's an alternate, you know, alternative channel, but you never know. I'm just maybe not ready to speak about that stuff yet. So that's all I have for you. Um, let's keep growing together one step at a time. And until next time, take care of yourselves.